Hey guys, welcome back. We are looking at our Reserve de Chateau uh, European Cabernet Sauvignon. And this has been going a while. It's been going longer than I would have, um, longer than what the directions say. Um, that's because I'm a really busy guy. And the great thing about the hobby of winemaking is that if you're a really busy guy like me or girl, and you don't have time for hobbies but love to do things this is the perfect hobby for you because if you don't get to something for a while your wine's just aging pretty cool so here we are our European uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and I am racking out of my secondary into a clean carboy okay um, I have my auto siphon, putting it down to the bottom gently. And you can see the sediment on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, that sediment, that layer of sediment on the bottom. We're going to rack off of that. That's why we have the anti sediment tip. Okay, so I'm going to put the camera down, and you can see the wine. Transfer. All right. So at this point, we're going to transfer all the wine over to uh, this carboy, and then we're going to stir it out with the uh, sulfite solution or the sulfite. Um, powder. We're going to add it to this and stir it out. Just like I do the other wines that you've seen me do. Alright, so you don't need to watch this fill up. I'll be right back when it's filled to the top and we'll keep going. Alright, so the next step would be to put the stabilizer in. These are the sulfites. And I'm basically just going to pour it in to Pour it into the uh, wine. And now that the sulfites are in there, I'm going to stir. Um, I got a mixer. You guys have seen me use that before, right? It's a drill mounted device that's still going to stir out all of the uh, fabric. So I'm going to stir like this. And you know what? I just want to bring up one thing. A lot of guys ask me about the headspace. If that was topped up and you were to drill, you'd have all of the wine uh, come out, not all of it, but some of it come out all over the floor. So you need some space in there because when you drill, you see how the wine goes up? If that was topped up to the top, it would spill out. So, you know, you guys don't need to see me drill. I'm going to be drilling this for probably about 15-20 minutes. And we'll be back when we're done. Okay, after I stirred, I made the sparkaloid up. This is sparkaloid. Um, I do this instead of the kytosan pack, because the kytosan pack is made from shellfish. And uh, in the event of shellfish allergies, I don't like to use it. Um, if you wanted to use the, that uh, pack, you could follow the directions that come with it. You put in one part of it, you stir. Then you put in the second part of it, and you stir and put it aside. Instead, I did my sparkaloid. And the way that this works is you take one tablespoon of powder to one cup of boiling water. And... Um, what you would do then is dissolve it completely and pour it into the carboy and stir it in. Um, then you wait about 10 days and you should be good to go. So one tablespoon of this sparkaloid powder to a cup of water, you add boiling water, you add, you let it sit, you let it dissolve and then pour it in to the carboy. You guys have seen me do that on my other videos. If you check out my other videos, you'll see that process. So what I've done is I've stirred the uh, the heck out of that and you can see the bubbles on the top 
and I refixed, re-affixed my airlock. And I'm going to put this aside now for about 10 days where we should be ready for another racking and possibly bottling. All right, thanks for watching and uh, check back for an update on how this comes out. Pretty exciting, make it wine, take care. Hey, if you like what you see, please subscribe and please like the video. Tell your friends, tell your grandmother, tell anybody that you know that might want to make wine. Cool. Take care, guys.